the explicit effect of the red eyes might just be more damage. It might not even be more aggressive. It's just like immediately aggroed as opposed to more aggressive. But it's hard to say exactly. Two, three, four. Yeah. Okay. This, uh, these are blood vials, so uh, it's worth picking up, of course. Especially since you can carry 629 now at maximum. Or 632, but 600 in the box is the point. And I, I tend to open this door just out of habit, but in the odd, unlikely eventuality that I die prior to Bloodstar Beast, the door is open. Actually, prior to the next checkpoint. Uh, how are you doing? Greeting, stranger. Um... I'm not... I think one of the guys must be shouting. I don't have the TV audio up for you guys, so I can't tell. Or they would just be aggroed on me over here. Of course, their eyes are not red, so... I might just be wrong about that. Naturally, the guys with the hood don't care about the, uh, the torch, because... The hood equals... Impervious to fire? I don't know. But, uh... None of the enemies here are all that troublesome. Maybe the wool, the werewolves, but again, you don't have to fight two at once, so... Werewolves are pretty easy going. Hmm. So I'm doing the side dodge to get a, a better angle as well as more damage off of that. So that worked out quite well. I feel like there should be, uh... Phases the break with his gas, but it's just fissures in the ground, apparently. But if, or no, they're burning pyres of corpses. Yeah. Details, my friends. Details. Um. But uh, if you <laughs> in the chalice dungeons, it's always just a vase with smoke coming out of it for no apparent reason. So I think this will disappear before it works, but we can at least watch this guy die, because why not? And he's even using a sock lever to negate my argument that all men use uh, the axe. It might be a spear, who knows? I'm not going to use the sock lever for quite a few more runs, like three or four at least. So, we'll see <laughs> how it goes then. I, I anticipate it'll just be like a basic sword run. So even though I didn't uh, connect the first hit there, even though, oh, even though, so even though it's the new obviously, by the way, um, because this attack moves you forward, you can just keep going, on, going right on spamming it, and eventually get in range. And if you do it well enough, it works okay. I'm gonna try to do the parry, but he's doing the wrong attacks. Problem. So bad wolf luck. I did get him there, but if you if you hit a mat, an enemy who is in uh, the parried state or the counter-attacked state, whatever whatever it's actually called in this game, it does double damage. So in the case of some weapons, though, it will actually do like 1600 damage. So if you don't want to give up the positioning that you already have, you could just mash him in the face instead of doing the visceral attack. So. I'm sure in the vast majority of cases, people will go for the visceral. Uh, and I will actually open the door in this building here. What could it be? <gasps> Amazing. Um, so... That guy, it always seems like he could maybe hit me, but I don't think he has before, so... Maybe his, his AI slash tracking just isn't good enough to do it, so it's not a huge concern. And usually I do die to blood starved bees, so though it's it's mostly because of the room as mentioned before. So it is pretty important to I don't know why the wolf is up here. Okay, later. Yep. I thought it was just gonna be the dude, but the wolf got there first. He was like, I don't care that you're in the way, I'm gonna clip right through your ass. Yeah. 
It's actually quite dangerous to uh, parry the red-eyed ones because they hit so damn hard, but I went for it anyway and got two for the first one I want. And we're, we're almost to the, the Bloodstar Beast, so I guess since this video is relatively short, I'll, uh, I'll go back and fight the wolf that I ditched previously, if I can find him. Oh, he's not here. Where could he be? Oh, there he is. Amazing. <laughs> amazing. I get uh, amazing from both um, Deadly Premonition, where York says amazing every time you get a headshot. I never play Deadly Premonition, but I can watch an excellent Let's Play. And also in Dynasty Warriors 3 and 4, the extremely generic sounding voice actor for one Chang Pu, an officer from the Three Kingdoms period, says, Amazing! No matter what happens, like, an officer joins the battle. Amazing! <laughs> the enemy general has died. Amazing! It, there is no situation that isn't amazing to this guy. And that's also why I have some amount of affection for Chang Pu, despite its relevant, relative irrelevance in the Romance of the Three Kingdoms period. There are actually enemies down here that I very frequently ignore because they can kind of ambush you. Like, oh, how you doing, Chan? I can't lock up here just because. And for some reason, he has more health than, than your generic uh, poison hat wolf wearing thing, dude. The dude guy, man. So, uh, yeah, that's why I don't fight those, but if you're curious. Um,. If you're curious, is also another one of my ubiquitous phrases, of course. So I'm I'm gonna end the video here. I wish I had fire paper for this fight, for this fight, but whatever. Look at my glorious blood-covered uh, protagonist here. They, her eyes are still blue. It's okay. And uh, I'll see you next time.